Good evening. We interrupt the beginning of game time to bring you the special winning announcement. That's right. We have before us the winner of the Broken Token $100 gift card that was offered up by Greg Spence and the Broken Token over the last week. Thank you, Greg, very much for donating this great gift card and good luck to everybody involved. We did draw the winner from all the YouTube comments of which there were very many. So thank you all for entering there. Be sure to tune in next week because each time we do game time, we also do a contest. So their YouTube comments were another way of entry. We got another dozen that way. So this is by far the largest contest. So without further ado, Rob Bendig from the YouTube comments. Congratulations on winning. Be sure to send a quick note uh, over to me at the email provided up here on screen and I will send you a link to how you can claim your prize. So congratulations. Thank you everybody for entering and be sure to watch this week's episode for how you can win a copy of Monikers, which is uh, a ton of fun and a great party. So thank you very much and let's start this show. So we are ready to play a, uh, a game here. In fact, you guys have set the, the table because uh, the first time around, you guys played an amazing game of monikers mm. um, using some, uh, some co-op rules originated where, uh, where, Alan? I made those rules. I just have to get myself together first because that intro is so sick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the like... The pixel animation is just so perfect. I just so, love that intro. It's so good. If we're going to list more dull things about Dan, I'm a retro game enthusiast. <laughs> and um, uh, so the the whole aesthetic of the the awesome chiptune intro and and pixel art is is oh, right in my sweet spot. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I am a big fan of chiptune, the actual type of music, too. So, yeah. Anamanaguchi is my jam. Oh, but, dude. anywho. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling you know it. Right, this, is, this is another podcast right here. We're gonna have. We're gonna go for on for for twenty minutes just about chip tunes. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, let's let's get to the game. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. I just wanted to give props to the intro. But yeah, monikers. This is I designed the co-op. A lot of people know it as celebrities or glass bowl, where everyone comes up with names and they throw them in the glass bowl, and you have to go through them three times. But most people play with teams which has a lot of downtime and adds that competitiveness where someone kind of loses their cool. Like, Susie, he was the governor of California. Why didn't you just say the governor? What's wrong with you, Susie? <laughs> but when it's cooperative, you find that there's only this mutual bonding that goes on. So all of the good stuff without any of the negative feels. I love it. I know I'm selling my own stink here, but I love it. I, uh, I I hope to maintain that positivity, but 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 I, I might introduce a single sour note of those those negative feels that you were concerned about when I say that uh, I uh, recorded that the first time you guys played this, you had a combined time of nine twenty five to get through all three rounds. You so shut your dirty mouth, Dan. <laughs> so the positive spin on this is that that set a a very. Um, Reasonable bar, bar for you guys to ascend, yes. you know, this time as you try to uh, to, to do one Correct. better than uh, than the 925 yeah. that you managed to achieve the last time you guys teamed up. So let's uh, let's get Chris involved here because I, oh, I am is. here after all. Yes. Hey, Chris. How's it going, buddy? We are going to crush our old time. We're going to set a record today because of two reasons. One, Gary Pope rests his soul is no longer with us. <laughs> He's not actually dead. He's just dead to this show, just so you know. <laughs> wow. We've got that's, that's Dan controlling the... <laughs> We've got dead Dan... <laughs> yeah, well, we love Gary. We already talked about that in our episode, how much we love Gary. But, Dan, you're stepping up. You got this. The way we're doing it is that you're getting messages on your phone, Chris, 
and I'm getting messages on my phone. So Dan's going to be messaging us and keeping time. So Dan, you're going to be working like a machine back there, not just hitting your regular buttons, but social media buttons, timer buttons. He's got buttons. all kinds <laughs> of monkey <laughs> buttons now. The, the, the more buttons for me to press, the, you know, the, the better off I am. That's a... Dude, I kind of feel like we need to give away a copy of this moniker. Ooh. What do you yeah. do? Yeah. You, you think we should, right? I think the more monikers in the world, the better the world is. I, I like where your head's at. So you know what? We're gonna I'm gonna put that up down here at the bottom. I'm put up away. Basically comment on the video. Um, and I'll ship it, you know, at my expense. Monikers isn't paying me. And if they do, I'll do it twice. All right. Um, but nice. I will send you a copy of this game. Now, this box is amazing. Like, oh, I don't you're have talking about the head? Dan's got it. Yes. Do you have your copy? I, I have my copy in front of me. I actually have the expansion. What? More monikers, which has the exact same effect, but with different characters. Oh. So you want to see this? Oh, look at I know Black that Panther. Might... That's awesome. Yeah, you want to see what happens? Here's the twist. There's Medusa as you take it off. Right, right. Whoa. Wakanda for life. I Medusa. love it. Yeah, we'll see what else do we have over here. Is that data? Yep. Yeah. You got it. So, data with the Android underneath, and it goes on the other side too. Whoop. I mean, there's no Blackula that's kind of missing, but you know. Yeah, yeah, Blackula in the original is really good. Look at this. Oh my goodness. What's oh, I like going the Stalin. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, look at that. Whoop. There you go. Oh, the missiles may be inappropriate behind the woman, so we'll ignore that. But anyway, <laughs> it is okay, an adult. I'm glad they're game. missiles. <laughs> I wasn't sure yes. there. <laughs> yeah, the missiles behind the woman. So no, that's um, I, I love monikers, what these guys yeah. do. This this is awesome, and I mean the best part is like they do this as a print and play on the website. So I I kind of feel like yeah. I need to spread the monikers love. So. Just kind of make a comment below here. Shoot out a Twitter or a tweet. I think they call them Twitter tweets, right? Whatever it is. With I the call them the tweets. Tags. You, the you know, the tags hashish with tags, that. right? They, they do that. <laughs> the, the kids are doing that with the Twitters and the chat snaps. Uh, you know. Yeah. Really, actually. Your, my, my Twitter my game's face strong. Is... <laughs> my Twitter game's yeah. strong. So just follow the instructions. I'll put it down there. It's only going to run for a limited time. So you know what? If you're in the continental U.S., you win. Thanks for playing along. And uh, look in the back of the book, because that's where the format we're playing, the co-op format, lives for this man. Yeah. Yeah, he got mentioned. It's pretty sweet. It's a great way to play yeah. this game. I love it. This is now the only way I play monikers. Yeah, I, I, that's universally what I've heard, but I'm biased because my name's credited you in the You only listen to yourself, but... though. That's the problem. That's that's a problem, <laughs> but that's usually universally what people have said. And even if you're playing Times Up, because I know Monikers gets compared to Times Up. I know sure. Times Up is very popular at Dice Tower Con in Florida, uh, but they're still playing it in the c competitive version. And I'm really interested to see what happens once the cooperative version gets played by the influencers Ooh. from Dice Tower Con. Yeah, so we'll see. Because pretty much universally, people say, "Oh." I'll never go back to the competitive version because the cooperative right. version was all so good. It we'll is. See. It is. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm about this. We're gonna have fun. Have we have we explained how this works yet? I not this episode exactly. Uh, well, the way we're, it we're works, not gonna be mean and make them go back and watch. I mean, that, no. That, okay. Just be rude. <laughs> so here's one thing that you should keep in mind, Dan is that last time we had a disadvantage compared to normal, and that's true for here too, is that Dan has selected 10 cards, five cards for you, five cards for me, because when you normally play this game, everyone chooses five cards, and they get to see these cards and memorize them the best that they can. We're not seeing any of these cards, Chris, so we're a little hamstringed here as professionals. But anyways, so, uh, Dan's going to go ahead and these 10 cards have either names or phrases, something very clever on them that has been perfectly curated by the Monikers crew of Palm Court. And Dan's going to send you a, a card on your phone. And the first round, you can say whatever you want to get me to guess what the card is. 
So, for instance, if it says Arnold Schwarzenegger, you just say he was in Terminator. He's the governor. I would, and I would say, I'll be exactly. And I'd say Arnold Schwarzenegger. And you'd say yes. Then it's my turn and I get the next card and we go back and forth. If for some reason we can't get the other player to guess, we can simply pass and Dan, you're going to go ahead and give us another card then. But if we get through all 10 of these characters or phrases, these cards, we do it again. And the timer doesn't stop. And the second time through, we're only allowed to say one word. So if I had Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'd probably say governor or Asta, something like that. And then the last round, a third round, we can't make any noise whatsoever. A lot of people say you're not allowed to talk, but I like saying no noises because inevitably you get people doing weird things like <laughs> making sound effects that give it away. So I, I like to say no noises whatsoever. And at that point, once we go through it the third round, we see how we did on time. We stop the timer. Now, traditionally, 30 seconds per card is par for the course. You've made it, it's worth mentioning. So since there's two of us and five cards each, math tells me that's five minutes. So our goal is five minutes. Anything above five minutes starts to get a little bit shameful. And what was our last record, Dan? What did we have last time? <clears throat> if I check the record books, <laughs> I believe you guys came in at, at nine minutes and 25 seconds the first time around. Yeah. We can do rough. better than that. Yeah. I remember we had Kobayashi, and that was the big thing that hurt us. Because uh, you were so, you were thinking one thing, and I was thinking the other. Like Kobayashi. You were thinking Maru. of Captain Kirk's uh, challenge, the Kobayashi challenge, and I was thinking of Kobayashi, the hot dog guy. Not <laughs> Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> yeah, this that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had Some... Monica Lewinsky, and we had Kobayashi. So anyway, <laughs> it was a recipe for disaster. There was some. Not. I love this game. <laughs> There was some chemical, the chemistry came into it. We learned a lot about melatonin versus melanin the first time around. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to go there it again. so educational, so educational, yes. Dan, yes. do a research, I love it, I love it. Yes, yeah. Oh man, I'm excited. Dan, do you have the 10 cards selected for us? I do have 10 cards selected, sir. I have and, my phone. I'm and sure I am ready to- How do you know it's yours? <laughs> <laughs> It's either mine or Sean McCoy's, so. Oh, he's moved on. He's got the mothership one now, so. That's true. That's true. All right, and I'm ready to send you your first word and start our timer. Are you ready, sir? Who, we all who ready. are you sending the first word? This is to you, Alan. You're, you're our, uh, our guest host, therefore you get to start us okay. off. All right. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready, Dan. First president of the United States. George Washington. Yes, good, sir. Um, these are things that... No, 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 that, that, that's not your start, Chris. This is your start word. Go. All right. Um, boo -boo. Don't screw us, Dan. Hey, blank. Can you tell me the directions to the mall? Hey, cop, officer? Boo-boo. Uh, uh, Siri. Hey, yes. hey Siri. <laughs> yep. Uh, hey, the opposite of... Dad. Mom. And the Ooh, opposite can we be of more mine. So? Yours. So Mine put yours. them together. <laughs> mine yours? Mom now, yours. What's the opposite of mine? Yours. Good. And what's the opposite of dad? Mom. Put them your, together. Your mom? Yes. Go on. <laughs> your. Okay, that's awesome. Um, somebody who goes... Running through a crowd naked. Streaker. Streaker. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, and it's not a tumor. In this movie, I was a teacher. Kindergarten cop. Correct, sir. Um, release the... Kraken! The Kraken! Release the Kraken! <laughs> this was the most perverted of all Caesars. He killed a lot of people, had a lot of sex. Uh, Augustus? Nope. Worse than that, dude. Had sex with horses and all sorts of nasty stuff. Maximus. Nope. Uh, so when your blood, uh, when you cut and you start bleeding, you hope that your 
blood starts to thicken and harden. What do you call that? Plotting. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, this is really bad. Uh, Scat. We may have to pass on this one. Uh, I'm going to blank you on the phone. What do call. I do on the phone? Call. Uh, Cassius. Um. Uh, pass, pass. We're gonna have to All pass right. on this. I don't know my Roman history. Um. Yeah. Oh, Michael J. Fox. Basketball. Parkinson's disease. Basketball. basketball. Um. Uh. Turns at midnight. Oh, Teen Wolf, Teen Wolf, Teen Wolf. Yes. Hey, Christians really worship this person. Um, Christ. Yeah, what's the, his name in... Jesus what, uh, Christ. Jesus. Yes, but the best, the best version of him is one he's very little. Baby Jesus. Yes, the baby Jesus, good. All right. Um, lamb and fava beans. <laughs> uh, Hannibal Lecter. Yes. I heard it through the grapevine, and there's a whole bunch of me. California raisins. Yes, very good. <laughs> We're dating ourselves. All very right. good. So through the magic of television. <laughs> All right, so we're ready for round two. I'm going to send round two. Round two. Now we can play. We can say just a single word in each round of these cues. Note, note that to, to bring us all back here. Now that we spent three minutes talking about Caligula, Caligula is not in the pool. Okay. Um, I played it like we were doing the competitive version where cards that get passed, you know, tossed entirely. So you know, from now on, if you pass, they're going to just cycle right back around. But Quite Caligula literally stacking the deck. Yeah, in your favor. Yes. I'm helping you out, guys. Three minutes, three seconds to get through round one, as a matter of fact, for those keeping score at home. So oh, I think you, you stand better, a, Chris. a very real chance of bringing this in under that uh, that five yeah, minute I, mark. I'm, I'm digging these. I'm digging these. All right. So I'm going to mm -hmm. send Alan his first message and start the clock. I'm sending hey. you a new one. Go ahead. Hey. Siri. Yes. Good. I was Release. Nervous. The Kraken! <laughs> Dad. Uh, oh. Oh. Um, mom. Oh. Dang it. Hot mom. Baby's mama. Oh. Uh -huh. Just pass. Just pass. Pass, pass, pass. Um, grape, vine. California raisin. Fava. Hannibal Lecter. Um. Christians. The baby Jesus. Perfect. I'm going as fast as I can. Naked. Streaker. Yes, you, I love you, Chris. Thank you so much. I was so worried. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, that was mine. <laughs> I know that. Um, midnight. 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 Teen Wolf! Teen Wolf! Oh my goodness. I don't know where How you got that, that from. <laughs> Simpatico, that, that's brother. amazing. Simpatico. President. Washington. Yes. Yes. Terminated. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Wait, he wasn't in there. Terminated. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Caligula's out. We said that. Terminate. Oh, oh, I went I went down the wrong path. It's bad that we use this as an example. Uh, right. We already said kindergarten cop, right? Nope. That's Is it. it. Kindergarten cop? Yeah. You oh, did now. Cop. Oh, okay. Okay, okay cool. Yeah, <sighs> kindergarten cop. Um mine. Your mom. Yes. Hey, yes. there and we the, go, the folks. So Your mom. Yeah. Now it gets I really interesting. Are we ready for round three? <laughs> ready. 
for the folks at home to remind you, the way round three is going to work is th- th- now no sounds are allowed. There will be performance art, miming only, charades, if you will. And uh, and we stand at six minutes, 15 seconds. The five minute mark, the goal set originally by Alan has already passed us by. However, we can Ooh. definitely shoot to uh, to beat your bar of 925 established the first time around. I think you guys can do it. This is it's hard. We bar. have to look at your phone. Yeah, it's. I, I, I think there's plenty of room for error here. I, I think we're doing okay. Yeah, we yeah. Got caught it. up on your mom. And we had a technical foul. <laughs> we're good. We got hung up on my mom. What? <laughs> I got hung up on Chris's mom. God damn it again! <laughs> All right. All right. I'm sending Alan his first word and restarting the timer. End. Oh, oh, oh man, um, Siri. Um, oh, uh, did you say it? Streaker. Streaker. Yes. <laughs> it was hard because my ear. The best part is out. you have to leave it that way for the rest of the night. <laughs> I know. All right. Um, the Kraken. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Kindergarten cop. Yes. All right. Um. <laughs> oh. Um. Your mom. Oh my goodness! How the hell? Baby Jesus. Yes. All right. Um. Uh, Caligula, that's already out of here. Dang it. A tummy, you're eating, you're, oh, I'm, uh, my teeth are so baseball bat. What? Uh, I'm whacking down that tree with my mullet, and I'm a captain that's shooting, and now I'm praying, and now the time is going up, and Teen Wolf, no? Uh, Teen Wolf. Is it Teen Wolf? Nope. No, okay. Uh, thumbs up. Yeah. The, the, one word. A butthole. In a Lynx ar- arcade Artari system. And you have a lot of money now. And you've got money. And you're rich. And there's a... De- George Washington! For the God damn I'm it! I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm, I'm an idiot. The hat. Wooden teeth. Cherry tree. Hannibal Lecter. Yes. All right, um. Team Wolf, that's yes. Team Wolf. <laughs> California Raisins. Yes. Um. Siri. Yep. That was easy. Nicely done, gentlemen. That's that it? completes that all, that oh, completes the full set. Oh, that is I all ten cards. Up on George Washington. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Chris, right, I failed. Right. You. I know you're failed a man you. who likes wood. You have a wooden wooden wedding ring. You have a wooden watch. Yeah. But apparently yeah. you don't have wooden teeth. So teeth, I get it. <laughs> the wallet, the money got me. It was great with the money. When you went to the like, money, I got it. The hat, I don't know. I you was know, trying, the trying is, to like on the horse and you know, kind of. I was like. It was more Napoleon than Washington, but... You did great. I totally will take the blame. Here right, is I'll let you. My blame. And this, is, <laughs> this is my excuse, and it's weak excuse, and it, it's, it doesn't justify it because it's still totally my fault. I'm so focused on the next word because I see the next word, and this is not your fault either, Dan. I'm not saying that. When I see... <laughs> we we oh, found a way to make it my fault. <laughs> <laughs> like... I've got the California Raisin coming up. How am I going to do that? Oh, I'm just going to sing this song. Oh, wait, I should be paying attention to Chris you know what? and what Chris is doing. I think we need to do this again. I what think so, think? too. I think we can do better. We you can think do we better. can do better? Uh, yes, who wants yes, to yeah. see it? Well, keep watching. Because <laughs> I think we'll take a quick break, and then we're going to do it again. So while I bet Ooh. you can probably beat your time from that, what I will say is we may not be able to do better than the fact that there was a California Raisin mime performance in the year of our Lord, 2019. That, for me, will make this game right there. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. You know what's worse? You can go all the way off the screen. Is I think I could go upstairs. I think I actually have the CD for the California Raisins in my collection somewhere. Oh my goodness! Well, we're on a break. If there was a time, I think that time would be now. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna. I'll it. tell you what. If we're gonna do this, give me give me like a minute. I'll go grab my book, my binder. By sheer coincidence. There it is. California Raisins. The California Raisins. Sing the hits. I heard it through the grapevine. Of course. Lead on me. Stand Lead by me. me. You Can't Hurry Love. Heartbreak Hotel. La Bamba. Res I remember that one. I remember them doing that one. Respect. Uh, oh, yes, P-E-C-T, that's what you mean to me. I want to see the Aretha, Ra uh, Aretha Raisin. Um, let's see, When a Man Loves a Woman. One of my hands. So, so really, I'm kind of feeling like this is, uh, you know, the Rod Stewart with a uh, remake album. Uh, Sweet, Delicious, Marvelous, and Moni Moni, rounding out the... The California Raisins sing the hits. I paid money for this at one point in my life. I bet people would pay a lot of money for that at this point. Maybe it'll go for a hot penny on eBay. I tell you what, maybe that's the uh, the anti prize today. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever does the worst. After I check the eBay the value, Raisin. right? <laughs> Dude, yeah, I would keep that thing. That I mean, look how it already paid for itself right here tonight. I, it so. did. It did. Dude, uh, Alan, this has been amazing. If you if you had a chance and you got to watch our episode, please do check out our episode from last year. It was great. We got to recreate the high five. Booyah! I'm ready. Ready? Okay. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> the lag. Stop. The lag makes it Stop. impossible. Stop. Just keep doing this. We'll hit it eventually. Anyway, <laughs> the um, the episode was great. Um, if you want to hear more about kind of the show in the moment, um, you know, he interviewed me back on episode like six, I think it was six that he was on. And so you really yeah. got an early feel for the show of where we came from. And this kind of is a little bit of episode zero. Um, the, the last episode we just released, which is a very big thing on the Tuesday night podcast, which I, I highly recommend. Very entertaining. B Thank team, you. a team, Sean. Alan, it's great. I enjoy it. And I, I, thank you. I cannot tell you guys, thank you so much for the prep, the homage, the effort. I mean, I just asked you to come on and ask me questions. You, you, you far exceeded the call and I, I'm honored. I, I I'm wore humbled. a tie, sir. You wore, wore a, tie. a tie briefly. You wore a tie. Um, you, <laughs> you, you tried to streak a lot. Um, but I'm humbled right. that you, that you put so much effort and it really, this is why I do this show. I don't do it because I'm, I'm losing money. I don't do it because I'm gaining friends. I do it because I'm making connections and friends. And, you know, I just remember meeting Alan at PAX last year. It was just like, great. And we like hung out and got to inter interact with his guests. And I was, I was pretty much his, uh, his, what do you call that? Your soundboard? I'm sitting there and the whole time you're talking to this poor guy, I'm like, I believe it's called uh, your Dan. Yeah. Your Dan. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm I'm the button monkey. That's it. Um, but yeah, I was I was quite literally your soundboard because, you know, I just... Chris, ser sincerely, no problem coming on because, again, you make it really easy. And I think I am honored and anyone would be honored to step up. If you had asked pretty much any of your other guests if they would do exactly what I would do here, I'm sure they would say yes because of you. So thanks again. And thank you again too, Dan. I really appreciate your button pushing. <laughs> yes, I mean- I do we, my best. <laughs> you worked a lot harder than normal. Thank you, Dan. I, I hope you've enjoyed this show. Um, Monikers is great. Again, we'll put a contest down below. Check that out. It's probably been up there most of the time. I want you guys to get a copy of this game. And like I said, if, if they happen to reach out, Alan knows the guy. Um, maybe we can get another copy in there for y'all. But I think that uh, this needs to be played. This game is great. I love it. Yeah, it's absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. 
Palmport so, Games, Alex Haig and Justin Vicker. So there you good go. work, dude. Awesome. All right. Check out Mr. Girding anywhere you find Tuesday Night Games. So play TKG on Facebook and Twitter. And also Alan G-E-R Ding will we'll find him <laughs> anywhere on Twitter and the Facebook. So thanks so much for hosting. This has been a blast. It is over. You son of a gun. Ah.